and welcome back to our family channel apples in the badge so I am actually gonna be doing a makeup video today I have had tons of you on Instagram and my other YouTube channel asking about how I do my makeup so I thought I would just share a makeup tutorial with you I'm getting ready to do my makeup I'm getting ready to film a video for apples and tiaras and so I thought I would just show you guys how I do everything so I'm gonna show you all the products that I use and hope that this video is not 45 minutes long. So the first thing that I use every day, and by the way, I'm wearing contacts, so normally I would wear glasses, um, just take them off, but today I'm wearing contacts. Um, so I'm gonna use the Grace and Stella Spray All Day. This is the Rose Water Mist. I got this in a FabFitFun box, so I don't really know where you would find this on a regular basis, but I've been using it for the past year and it has lasted me a while. So if you need to purchase it, it'll last you a while. So I just start by spraying my face with this and it kind of gives my face a wet um, finish. And then I just kind of let that sit for a little bit. I don't want it to completely dry because I am gonna use it as a base for my powder foundation. Yes, powder foundation. And this is my secret. Everybody always asks me, what is your foundation secret? It's this. Physicians Formula BB Powder. This is the color light medium. This is a brand new one. I just opened it the other day. I order these from Amazon because they do not sell them in Target anymore or um, TJ Maxx or any of the other stores that I've looked for them. So I do order them on Amazon. I'm using a Morphe brush. This is just a really thick, um, dense brush that I like to use to kind of buff it in. Another one that you could probably use is a Real Techniques brush, I think that's what this one is. It's just a buffing brush. And then there's also a really good one by Bare Minerals. Anything that's really thick and dense will help to really buff this makeup in. So, let's look at my skin right now. I do have rosacea, so my cheeks are already red and very pigmented. And then I do have a lot of redness on my chin just from my um, teenage and young 20 years of acne and picking and scarring. So I do have quite a lot of redness. My skin tone is not even at all. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on there and I'm gonna go ahead and buff it in. If you see me looking this way, it's because my mirror is this direction. Now note, I'm not wearing any concealer at all. I am just using the powder. I will show you with the ring light and without. Okay, so this is my face completely covered by the BB powder. This is with a ring light. This is without the ring light. So my lights in here are kind of yellow, which is why I have the ring light on. Um, but I will show you the finished look in natural light and in regular light. Another physician's formula powder that I like to use if I am gonna use regular foundation is the Argan Oil one, and this is in beige. Another thing I have to order on Amazon because they don't sell it in the stores. And then the two foundations I really like are MAC Studio Fix, Fluid and CoverGirl Outlast. Both of these will work really well if I was gonna do a full coverage foundation look and then I just use a beauty sponge to apply that. That's really dirty and that's embarrassing. Okay, let's get back to this. So the next thing I'm going to do is put on my bronzer which is just Hoola by Benefit and I just use an angled brush. For blush, my go-to is the Milani blushes. I get these at Walmart. The one that I'm using is called Rose D'Oro number no. two. And I just use the blush brush that I got in my Morphe palette or my Morphe brush set. And I just put that on the apples and my cheeks. Technically, I don't even need blush, but I'm wearing foundation and it's covering up my redness, so I'm gonna use it. It does have a little bit of gold in it, so it does have its own little highlight in there. As you guys can see, my cheeks are like super shiny. So I'm not gonna use highlight today, but normally I would use the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I love this color, but I'm not gonna use it today because my blush has a natural highlight in it and I don't really need to be shiny on camera. Next, I'm just gonna kind of buff everything together with a fluffy brush and call it a day. All right, let's talk about eyebrows next. So I do have quite a few products that I bounce back and forth between as far as eyebrows goes. 
My favorite is this Winky Lux Unibrow pencil that I got in a FabFitFun box. But if you can't find this, I also really love the ColourPop eyebrow stuff. Um, this one is the Brow Boss and it is just the thin pencil. These are really cheap. And then the Brow Boss gel I really like as well. I'm going to use the Winky Lux today though. So I'm just going to fill in my brows and I'm also going to pull up a really close up mirror because I need a little bit more precision for this. So I'm just going to fill in my brows. I haven't had my brows waxed or plucked or anything in quite a long time. I think before even the first wave of you know what. So I've kind of been just going with my brow shape and just filling it in. I don't really care if they're bushier. In my opinion, I like that look on myself. So, and I don't really have big bushy brows. So I'm just gonna go with it. All right, so my brows are filled in. Just a little bit darker so that they actually show up on my face because I am a natural blonde, believe it or not. Um, my roots are dark. My roots are very dark today. My hair is very dirty. Okay, eye shadow. You guys are dying to hear this one. So I have two ColourPop um, eyeshadows here. The first one is called Waddles, and this is the darker one. And then the next one is called Frog, and it is a Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter. This one is a Super Shock Shadow Satin. So I just take my finger, I rub it in the darker one, the Waddles one, and then I just apply it to my entire lid, all the way up to my crease, just kind of everywhere. There's really no technique here. You just kind of slap it on there. Okay, and then I take this one, the frog color, and I use a different finger, one that's lighter, and I put this all on the bottom half of my lid, near the lid, the lash line, and the inner corner to give me a little shine. We can really see it on that side. Okay. I've been really into buying cheaper makeup lately because I realized that there are cheaper brands out there that are just as good. Another one I like to use is this Morphe palette. It is the Jewel Crew palette. It is the Jewel Crew palette um, from Morphe. I think I got this at Ulta and I just like to use this chocolate diamond color, it's this little brown, to kind of crease out my stuff. <laughs> crease out my stuff, that sounds weird. Um, just kind of chisel out more of a defined crease. Not really trying to go too hard on this. Just enough. Okay, and then eye highlight is just my Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in Stella. Looks like that. I just pop it in my on my brow bone. And then here in my inner corner, I'm trying to do this in my viewfinder is very difficult. Okay, now I have two mascaras I'm gonna talk about today. One I just grabbed on a whim because I needed mascara and it was cheap. This one is by Soap and Glory. It is called Thick and Fast Lash Extensions. I do really like this, especially if I'm going to use magnetic lashes, which I am going to use today. If I'm not using magnetic lashes, I like to use the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This is called, it's kind of like a fiber mascara, so it builds upon itself. But today, since I am gonna use magnetic lashes, I'm gonna just use my Soap and Glory. Now, I will tell you, I do have pretty naturally long lashes. Put some lashes on, because <laughs> mine are pretty long. Um, it's really not the mascara doing it for this one. The Thrive one, though, does give you a good length because it is fibrous. But this one is just darkening and coating my lashes because I am going to wear magnetic lashes today. And then per personal preference, I do not like putting a mascara on my lower lash line. It's just something I don't really do, so I'm going to skip that. 
All right, let's talk about magnetic lashes. So the ones that I love are by Aeroshine. I got them on Amazon. They are linked in my storefront, so if you're interested in purchasing these, they are linked in the description below. I like them because they come with a few pairs, two things of liner, and then the applicator. So I'm gonna use these big fun ones today. Big fun ones, I think. Mm, maybe I'll go more natural. I'll go more natural today. So I'm just gonna put the liner on real quick and then apply the lashes. So one really important thing to remember when you're doing um, magnetic lashes and magnetic liner is that the magnetic liner is not gonna come off as easily as regular liner. Uh, you are gonna need to use like a makeup remover that is for waterproof makeup. Um, it does take a little bit longer to remove. Another thing I should mention is once my, mag my magnetic liner and eyelashes are on, I do like to go back in with a regular liner on top and just clean up any mistakes that I've made. So now I wait for this to dry. So while I wait for these to dry, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my lipstick. So I use a lip liner. I really find that it helps stay all day long. So I like the Boldly Bare from MAC. And I have no lips, if you guys didn't notice. My lips are very small, very tiny, and they are going nowhere fast. So I find that when I line my lips, it gives me a little bit of a plump, a little bit of a boost, and uh, you know, does the job. I also put the liner all over my lip because it does act as a really good base for my lipstick. Okay, so once I've got my liner on, I'm going to use a lippy stick from ColourPop, and it is in the color Brink, and I'm just gonna put that all over the top. Okay, so my magnetic lash liner is drying, so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my lip or my magnetic lashes. These are so much easier, guys, than the ones that come with like two pieces. I cannot even tell you how much easier these are. So, you just, it's gonna be tricky to do on camera, but we're gonna try. Just place them where you want them. I like to start from the outside in. And then I kind of give them a little push just to lift them a little bit more. So now you can see these magnetic, these are not. And if I give them a tug, they're not gonna go anywhere. So like I said, when I'm done with my magnetic liner, I like to go in and just fix any issues. Like if I have any cracks or like bumps or anything in my liner, I go through with my e.l.f. liquid liner and I just clean everything up. you guys so my makeup is done and I realized that this ring light is super bright so I'm gonna just turn it down a little bit so you guys can see what it looks like looks pretty flawless from this angle um, I'm gonna turn the ring light off and show you guys without it so this is what everything looks like without the ring light and now I'm gonna go show you guys what it looks like in the Sun so here's just the natural lighting in my house with no lights on windows shining in my face and then of course in front of a window, 
Looks really good, I'm happy, I'm pleased. Okay everyone, so that is how I do my makeup step by step with all of the products. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions about makeup or anything like that, let me know. And of course, if you are new here and you'd like to subscribe, make sure that you click on that subscribe button and of course the notification bell if you wanna see every time we post. You can also follow Scott and I on our Instagrams. They are linked down below and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.